everyone, Grey Power 60 here. So I'm going to do a DIY on these treat boxes that are in the shape of a witch's hat. So the first thing we need, I wrote it all down here so I wouldn't forget. We need a piece of paper that is eight inches long by three and one eighth wide. I've already done my cutting here. Put that aside. Alrighty. Um, so that's the one piece we need. Oh, I didn't cut the other part. Alright, I'll have to do that on camera. Then I need for, that's for the hat, for this brim part. For the brim, I need a piece that is four inches. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a big chunk here and get rid of this. Four by three quarters of an inch. So that is four. I've done this so many times and made so many mistakes. But we'll Try it again. Alrighty, there's my piece. So, I've got my hat part. I've got the brim. The next piece I need to cut is, so I've got the hat piece. I've got the brim. Now I need a band here for the headband. So I've cut that piece out already, and that piece is, the band part is one inch wide by two and three quarters. Now we'll be trimming that down, so if it's a little off, that's okay. Alrighty. Then we need to make the buckle, uh, and just for the sake of doing this, I'm, I did them ahead. So my the buckle part is one and one eighth by one and one eighth, so it's just square, and it sits on here. Now, the original girls that were doing this cut out a piece so that you could see the band through. Well, I'm not that good at it, so I cut a smaller piece, which is seven eighths by three quarters of an inch, and what I've done. Sorry about that. Some craziness on my phone. Um, there's my little sticky thing here. So, we will be gluing those pieces together like that. I just find it's easier than trying to cut out, cut out a hole in this and have the band show through. So, for me, this was just easier. So, to make this little son of a gun, Give us some scraps, make some room. Um, I hope this is okay to see this. I just thought maybe using the green on green would not show very well. And I can't see that, so I'm going to leave my scrap paper here. So we have the box, the brim, the band, and the buckle. Okay, those are the pieces that we need. Now we need to score. We need to fold it in half. And where is it here? So we need to score that down. Now you can, if you don't know where the middle is, we need to score. I'll show you in a second here. Just make my little marks on either side. Alrighty. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to show you. Oh, here it is. Alrighty. So we need to fold it in half, and then we need to score the points. So we need to score from the fold to the middle of these. That's why I say if you fold it a little bit there and pinch it, 
it might be easier. So we need to score those two and score these two so that it becomes a half. So I'm going to score, I mean I've already done a couple of these but I'm always making mistakes. Always, always, always and I don't know why. I love using this machine for doing my scoring. And if it's a little off, that's okay. No worries, we'll fix it. Score on that side. And I need to. And this paper is really hard to see. To see my line there, so I'm giving you an idea. Make sure I have my fold in the right place. So I'm going to score there. on this side. So my center is that piece. Center is that piece. And there. Don't move. Don't move. Please don't move. And we've got that center part. Alrighty, so now that we've done our scoring, we just need to fold and fold. You can use your bone tool, whatever they call it. The mine's not it's plastic, but I like it. There we go, and there's the hat. Now, um, because these are words, I wanted to cut it, I don't want it to be upside down on the front. I want the words to be this way. So what I do is I fold these in and fold those here. And there's your hat. There's your the main part of it. Now, <coughs> in order to put the ribbon in, we need to make holes. Now, I just found that my hole punch doesn't really like all of these pages together, all these rims together. So what I've tried to do is come down and eyeball it approximately where I want the hole to be. And if it's a little off, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a little bit off. Uh, so there's my hole, and I'll do the same on this side, and the hole, put it approximately here. Now, even if it's a little off, and I want the words on this side, you know, you can still, I mean, it's pretty close, and you can still put your ribbon through. So let's ribbon just to show you so I could put a piece of you know I could put candy in there I could put a sucker and some candy and close it up just have to be careful how much candy you're going to put in there right Now, if you have a lot of loose little bits of candy, you could put those in there. However, that's back. And I'm going to put the ribbon through. I'll put it through after. I'll put it through after because we've got to get on to this stuff. Alrighty. Now, in order to adhere them, not empty. Where's this one is? Alrighty. So I want oops, wrong way. 
I want my words to be right side up, so I am going to glue those the wrong side of the top that I want to show. So I'm going to yeah, that's the empty one. I don't know why I don't get rid of it. Oh yes, because I was going to try it and see if I could. You don't have to glue these down, but I do it. Right. Because you want to make sure that the hole at the top is big enough to put candy in. Alright, so if you don't glue it down, then it's easier to put the candy in. But I'm just doing it for the sake of showing you how to do things here. So now we're going to take the brim, and I think I'm going to use this side. So the brim is 4 by 3 and 3 quarters. So what we need to do is, and I always do this, measure it, uh, I just want a one inch cut, so I'm just going to put a pin down there, one inch there, and, and sometimes I play around with it because sometimes I want the brim to be a little bit more um, pointy, like long and pointy. So you could make this like, I say, a half inch longer and make the brim. I just find it's a little harder to, to um, handle. So I'm going to cut that one there. And I can't see the black. I'm just so blind to the back. Again, oh, there it is. I can see it now. I shouldn't have used black pen, I should have used pencil. And that is going to fit on either side. <coughs> so I'm going to move that down. Oops. Can't be empty yet. Oh man. Every time I'm trying to tape. Turn the sound off. Sound off, which I should have done before, but on. Um, alrighty. And I'm going to glue the brim onto the bottom. And you'll know where to put it by having these corners flush, like the um, the edges flush with with your oh, that one is not there we go that's better I'm trying to do things sideways here so there is the hat you can make it pointier longer by just making it a little bit longer I just found that um, like I did with this one I had so much trouble trying to get it even that I didn't bother, but it does look a little better if it's a little more pointy than that one. Now we have to do the band, and the band is one inch by two and three quarters. Um, that is actually too big. It should have been. I think I was measuring against my other um, hat. No, two and I don't know how I cut that. I cut that too long. Maybe that was supposed to be for a different piece. Oh well, making mistakes is part of the plan. So it should be two and three quarters. That's quite a big difference. So it doesn't fit. Oh well, cut another piece. I mean, you know, I'm not very precise here. So what I wanted to do was get it right across here and then we'll cut the rest off later once we get it set and we'll put it on here and 
I usually like to overlap it a little bit of the brim so that the seam isn't showing. But that's just me. And if I hadn't glued this, I would have been able to work a little bit more with it. I'll get my little scissors because I like these. And I'm just going to trim off the excess. Same on this side. And there we have our little brim. Now we need to put, to make a buckle, I've decided to use red. Because <coughs> everything is green and black and white. So I need to glue that on. And again, the buckle is uh, one and one eight by one and one eight because I want it just a little bit larger. Oops, I glued the wrong side. Oh well, it says trick or treat on there. So let's put it on anyway. I'm going to put it on this little center of here. I want to make it in the center. And it's just around there. And then the last piece I'll put on. Is this one. And this is just to make it look like it's going through. And there we have it. Now, like I say, you could make this the, the brim. Uh, not the brim, but the, yeah, the brim. The brim is... You could probably make it, say, four and a half, which would give it an extra quarter inch on each side, and you could make it a longer and pointier uh, brim. But I think that one is just fine. I just find that they get kind of wrecked when they're a little too long, so that's the difference in those. We're going to put our ribbon through the holes. This is the hard part. Putting the ribbon through the hole. Put it through one and then put it through the other. Sorry, um, I'm not focusing on camera here. And I could have used a red ribbon, even though, you know, orange is sort of Halloween, but to match this, I could have used red ribbon. And there's your hat, and there's your treat box. So whenever you want to put treats in it, you just open up your ribbon. Open her up. Just squeeze this open, and you can pop candies right into the bowl. I hope you enjoyed my DIY on my witch's hat. Um, there are several people on YouTube that have done these and have done DIYs on them. Um, I can't remember the girl's name. That Let's check her out because fair is fair. I should show. I keep this Try and keep this handy, but I'm afraid I don't have it. I'm kind of disappointed here that I don't have her name written down. I thought I had. Anyway, I can post it below. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you liked the DIY. I have two more to do for you today. So I thought you really would like to see how to make these little treat boxes that is in the shape of a Halloween witch's hat. Thanks for joining me. If you like, please um, like, subscribe, comment below, let me know how you're doing. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.